What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, we have a video here for you. And of course, we've been talking about it over the last several weeks. Indianapolis Colts, you know, what? regardless of what happens here, you know, you're thinking that the Indianapolis Colts are in a situation where, you know, they may have a pretty good draft pick waiting and coming for them. So we are in a situation now where we're kind of wondering, like, who do we need winning, right? Who do we need winning going into these last couple of weeks, right? And uh, we're going to talk specifically just about this week, um, not about particular other weeks in general, but uh, this week specifically uh, in order to kind of get an idea of where we stand, right? So um, in regards to... Uh, the draft order right now, of course, uh, for there's a bunch of teams that are on by this week that are either right above us or right below us. Um, it is what it is, but you know, you, you just got to accept who you have, accept what you got going on. And uh, we're going to see what we need to do here, guys. Right. So the first game it's a big one uh, on Thursday night, and that is the Rams and the uh, Raiders. Uh, we need both of those teams. Honestly, like if you're wanting to root for one or the other, I don't think the Rams are going to end up winning a lot of games at this point. Um, so you would want just the Raiders who are at this moment in time are sitting there with a the 13th pick. Uh, you want the Raiders to try to win that game just to, you know, separate themselves from Indy, right? They were right below us just a few weeks prior to that. But the Rams, like I said, the Rams are going to be a dumpster fire, even with Baker Mayfield. But they're now, they're going to be a dumpster fire. We're just going to have to compete with them because the Lions are going to have their pick. We're just going to have to compete with them because there's just no way the Rams are going to start winning four of their last five. It's just not going to happen. Uh, so Raiders, you want to try to have the Raiders separate themselves from the rest of the pack, do that. Uh, and then when we're talking about other teams, you know, you want to uh, worry about, it, it would be nice if Cleveland would beat Cincinnati this week. Uh, and then when you're looking at the Lions and the Vikings, uh, you want the Lions to beat the Vikings this week. Yes, the Lions are going to have their uh, pick against the uh, from the LA Rams, which are currently sitting at the third spot. But the Lions do have another first round pick in that draft, so you want them to win those games and try to separate again from Indianapolis. You want them to separate themselves and try to be more away from uh, the middle of the pack for that second pick. Uh, for the rest of it. When you're looking at the Jags and the Titans, uh, Colts fans, we want the Jacksonville Jaguars to win so bad. You want the Jaguars to win because currently Jacksonville's sitting there with the sixth overall pick. And you want them to win because if they win this week, then they jump ahead of the Colts in the standings. And that is exactly where you want them to be. Uh, now, granted, I know a lot of people will say, you know, Jacksonville – they have their potential future franchise quarterback and they don't need one. Why would we need them to jump ahead of us if we know we can maybe trade for them? Well, do they really want to trade with an in uh, with an in-division opponent? It may take a lot more, right? So Jacksonville, we're hoping they win. Of course, we're rooting for the Broncos to beat the Chiefs, but you know, the, that's a pipe dream, right? And Right now, uh, the Broncos are the fourth pick currently, but that pick is taken by the Seahawks. Do the Seahawks want another quarterback instead of Geno Smith? Me, personally, I don't think they do. They might go defense, but then again, that's an iffy one, right? So then when you go to the rest of it, we're really hoping Carolina beats the Seattle Seahawks this weekend. Uh, the Panthers are sitting at that number uh, seven spot before us at number nine. And you're really hoping that they can win so that they jump ahead of the Colts. Uh, you want the Buccaneers beating the 49ers and you want the, uh, you want the Cardinals beating 
the New England Patriots on Monday night football. That'd be a huge one. If So if the Cardinals beat the Patriots on Monday night football, we automatically jump to number eight. Uh, if Carolina beats uh, Seattle, then we move up to number seven. If Jacksonville beats uh, the Titans, then we move up to number six, right? So we're, we could realistically be at number six by the end of this week, if the three teams in front of us all win their football games. Now, if any of them win their football games, then that makes it that much easier for the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, so again, we're looking at it from a draft position standpoint. You're wanting the Arizona Cardinals to beat the Patriots. You want Carolina to beat Seattle. You want Jacksonville to beat uh, the Titans. And of course, the Saints aren't playing this week. They're on by, so we won't be jumping them. Uh, de- even if Denver wins, even if the Rams win, they are um, they are still going to be below us in ranking. So even then, regardless, it still doesn't matter. Uh, Chicago, they have a bye week. They're not playing this week. Uh, but you know, we want Chicago to try to stay at that number two pick. It's a great opportunity for us. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. It's just a quick little video here for you. We'll try to keep an eye on these standings throughout the last few weeks of the season to see how this plans out. Uh, Let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, folks.